everyone welcome back to my channel today is a very exciting day because we finally have access to cottage living it is officially out for everyone and i am so excited to start building i feel like the game changers have had this game for ages and i've had some serious fomo watching their build and their let's plays so i'm super excited to finally get to play with this pack i've got my coffee i am ready to build so let's head on into the game and start building all right, so as you can see here, I have already built the shell of this house. Now, I haven't really been playing with The Sims much since my last video, but I have been building a lot of shells, and those are all up on my gallery. It's at Rebecca Sage, just like it's spelled here. If you want to check those out, I have a few different cottages, some suburban homes, a couple modern houses. So I've put this in the back of the world over by the waterfall. This is where Cordelia's secret cottage is usually. So I wanted to build a little house, kind of like a hermit house is what I'm calling it. And I really wanted to use um, this door with the little fox head on it. I think that's super cute. So this is kind of what we're going to base the build off of. I think I'm going to do this light brown color. I like the um, distressing on it. I don't know, but we'll start with that one for now and we might, um, we might change it as we go along here. But I think I'm going to start with the outside and I'm going to use this new roof texture. Oh my god. <laughs> you can really get up here. I might make this hard to build. I'm not sure what color I want to use with this. I don't really like the, um, green ones. I think I'm just going to use the default color swatch for this one. I think I might add one dormer. Maybe I'll add two. So maybe I'll actually change the wood tone to this kind of mid wood tone. I think this one makes more sense with the roof. These windows match this style. I think that's what I'm gonna use. These are so little, it's adorable. Oh, this is medium light. Get that out of here. No wonder it looked weird. I'm so sorry for uploading this to the gallery as medium wall height. Please forgive me. This is like a really tall roof. I don't know what to do with this. I feel like I don't want to leave it plain. You know, maybe I will add a chimney in here, actually. I think that looks better. That kind of helps break up this big space here. I don't think that there's a red brick that, like, matches. It's really hard to find something that looks nice. <laughs> maybe I'll do the light color. And we'll use this for some accent walls, I think. And then the rest of the house... I don't know if I want to use this. I don't know. I might come back to that. <laughs> I'm gonna add a couple columns. So I added these columns and I have to change the roof a little bit so that the columns aren't poking through. I really wanna use like a wood paneling. I don't know if the seasons one is really what I'm looking for. Kinda like this cats and dogs one. Maybe I should bring some color into this though. What if I did this blue? I really like that. I think that looks really nice. Now my original plan with this was to make it like a little hermit house, but I kinda wanna make it like cute <laughs> now. So I might not make it like a rundown house. Back to the windows, I realize I just did like half the windows. I'm not really sure what the layout of this house is gonna be. Don't know where exactly to put windows. I think that's probably good enough. And I guess we'll start with the layout of the house now. This is actually like really big. <laughs> okay, so I think what I'm going to do is, this is the bedroom. We have a bathroom here. This will be the kitchen, kind of a closed off kitchen. And then we'll have the living room in this section and we'll have dining table like right in front of the door. Hopefully that will fit. This is like a really big house. I don't think that I, I don't think I tested the layout of it before I made it, but you could probably make this like a two bedroom house. So I think what I'm gonna do is have a fireplace right here. Kind of struggling with a way to separate the dining and the living room area. Maybe I'll just have a small dining section in the kitchen. Yeah, I think I'll have like an L-shaped kitchen and then I'll have the dining table right here. It'll just be a small one and then I can leave this space dedicated to the living room. All right, I'm just gonna put down some filler furniture and then we will change the colors of everything once I'm done. So I want to use as much from this pack as possible. I'm super excited about the kitchen. So we're gonna have a big full kitchen. I wanted to put an island in here, but I think with the table that's probably not gonna work. I don't know where I'm gonna put the fridge. I think I'll put it here. 
and we're gonna use the new table and we'll just get like three chairs all right and for the bathroom big bathtub i guess i'll use this sink and that's pretty much it for the bathroom stuff okay so that's the general layout i think i'll just decide on what color to use in here i think i really like the dark blue now the only issue is that these chairs don't really come with matching swatches to the couch which is really odd like this one's close but it's a lot lighter so i think we're gonna choose a rug i think i'll go with this one because it's kind of got the leaves kind of look like the same color to the couch and then i think we'll use these pink chairs <laughs> might move this one like over here then we'll get a blue curtain we'll probably leave the fireplace as the default swatch i think i like the default swatch for this and we'll get a couple end tables side tables not that one that one's too close to the front door and for wallpaper i like this colorway with these flowers but i don't really like that wood i think i'm going to use these ones i'm going to do the painstaking process of alternating for lighting they don't have like a ton of stuff i'm not like a huge fan <laughs> of the lights that come with this pack i mean i do really like them but they really just have like two lights like this one doesn't really put off any light neither does this one this one's like okay but it's it's definitely an outdoor light this one's like a community thing this one's like an outdoor light as well and then these two are really all that they have just in different sizes so like this doesn't come with very many lights and then the wall version of it i don't like putting the same light in every single room i really wish that there was a floor lamp in this as well all right now to choose a color for the cabinets i want to do this based off the color of the curtains i think i really like this kind of emerald green color and we'll do a light brown stove i wish there was a dark darker brown that matched the color of the fridge better but there isn't and i guess we'll just do the matching chairs i love the little polka dots on these i think it's so cute and i totally forgot flooring so we'll add that i love the detail on this floor i love the the wood knots that are in it i think it's so pretty they did a great job on that this doesn't come with a trash can i really wish that it came with a trash can because all the ones that we have are like really ugly for the wallpaper in here i think i'm going to use this stone on the outside walls maybe not this one and then i'll just put like this one kind of is the same tone as the bricks i'm not sure if i want to do a mirror or a painting up there maybe i'll do the new painting it is really small so i kind of want to do maybe a couple more paintings like some of the ones from the base game that are kind of like kitcheny paintings maybe this one it's a bit dark on the wood swatch oh again that's a bit dark okay maybe i'll use a darker wood swatch then i don't like that i think i want to use that other one does that look weird <laughs> i feel like it kind of looks weird i wish we had some really like tiny paintings that i could put up there i don't know we'll just go with it i want to add some clutter in here there's so many cute clutter pieces and i really really like that they have like these kind of cutesy cottagey looking patterns on these but they also have like plain ones i think that makes it very versatile you can use it in like modern builds too and the same thing with the teapot they have some plain looking swatches I'm trying to find the picnic baskets i don't know what this is going to be like labeled under okay so it's under activities and skills i'm gonna add this cross stitching thing in the living room here i'll just add some finishing touches to the kitchen here and then we will probably move on all right that is it for the kitchen i've used this base game chandelier i did a normal size one and then one size down should i do two size down sure i'll put three of them in there because <laughs> again i don't want to use the same light in every single room so i think that is it for the kitchen i think i'm going to clutter up the living room later i'm going to I think i'll do the bedroom real quick i don't know what kind of color scheme to go with i want to do one that's going to kind of go with the rest of the house so maybe this one i just don't know if i really like that i think i'm going to stick with the green actually and i think this rug is probably the best one it looks weird from the outside but i want another window in the bedroom so okay for the wallpaper let's just look at what they have 
could do this. This is more of like a kid's room thing though. I don't know if I'm going to do the wallpaper in here. I think I just want to do like a beige in here. I kind of want to do a green mirror to kind of match the green of this thing. I want something else in here that's green, but maybe we'll just get that, this thing. Hopefully this comes in like a green and white swatch. Let's see? No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, and it doesn't come in this green color either. Why did they include this green if it doesn't match any of the other greens that they used? Alright, let's go back to the mirrors. And I might put this one in here. It's a little bit smaller than the other one. And then we'll do some green lamps. They're not exactly the same style of this house, but they match the color of the bed, so that's what we're gonna go for. Or should I pivot back to this? I'm just not a big fan of how that green looks with everything else. I think I like this better. I'm gonna get rid of this mirror though, since there's already technically one there. I think I like this a lot better. I will make up my mind eventually. Right, I wanna look at the dressers. This is technically not a dresser. And I don't know if this mirror works for changing your outfits, so... Oh, I can get rid of these lamps too. Get some better ones. Let's look at the different wallpapers again though. Okay, I kinda like that. It's very bright and vibrant. But maybe I'll do this red bed kind of tie that in. It's a lot. <laughs> this is definitely something maybe your grandma would have. I don't know why this door keeps breaking. I wish that this bed came in like a pink. I don't think they did the swatches on this bed very well. Compared to everything else that's in the pack, it seems like it almost feels like somebody else did it who didn't work on anything else. I'm going to look at the different lamp options here. I don't know, I might go back to the white bed. <laughs> I just feel like that red is just too vibrant. It doesn't really match with the other pinks that are in this. And for the walls, I think this painting has a different swatch to it. Maybe that's what I should change this to. That looks better. That makes more sense. And then maybe I can use this one in here. And then I'll grab like a base game one, probably a smaller one to put on the other side here. I guess I'll just do that one. Now all I gotta do is add some clutter in here. Ooh, I don't know if I can fit this. I don't know if your sims could walk past that. But maybe I'll put it over here. It's really only one wood that matches and it's just plain, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's okay. We'll live with it. And then we'll get some base game stuff as well. Maybe I'll do that book. I love that book. Okay, I think that is it for the bedroom. This doesn't come with really any bathroom stuff. Oh, but you know what? I have been using cats and dogs in here, so I think I can do that. For a wallpaper in here, I'm not sure what to do. Cottage living doesn't really have any. I guess we'll take the stone, put that back there. I might just do the whole thing, just stone, just the stone bathroom. But the real challenge <laughs> is the flooring. So we're gonna have to use base game. I'd like something darker. I want like a dark brown. I'll do this one. Yeah, I think that's decent enough. And then we'll get a rug. Really gotta get more like texture on these walls. Maybe I'll do the gray robe. I don't have anything to put in here. <laughs> I guess we can do that towel. I feel like cats and dogs has something I could put in here. It's got this. I might rearrange the bathroom a little bit so that I can fit that in here. It'd be weird to have this nailed into the window. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> What is this supposed to be? Oh, it's a dresser. It looks like a linen closet. Like, it looks like there's towels in there. So, that's what we're gonna use it for. I might ditch this mirror. I don't like the light wood. I'll get a base game one that has this kind of medium tone wood to it. I mean, this is fancy, but it kind of fits the style of this house. Or, you know what? I could do... I could just do a white mirror. I think I like that much better, actually. Alright, so I just want to put something here, above the bathtub. Base game does not come with very many things. I could do this towel. Should I switch this window for this one? And then I might switch these ones for that bigger one. And then I can have a curtain in the bathroom, which is definitely needed. I know I kind of want to switch this rug. <laughs> This is always how it goes. I add something and then I feel like I have to change like eight different things to make it work. Okay, I think I like that one. I'm just gonna go with that. I 
think this would be quite cute hanging above the bathtub. I can slot things up here. Maybe I'll add this little bunny. Kind of wish there was different spots though. <laughs> Maybe I'll just add some linens up here too. Okay, so I've got the stack of towels, the little bunny, and this shampoo holder. All right, I think that's going to be it for the bathroom. I think that's finished. I just need to add some things to this living room area. Add some plants in here. And I'd like to put a desk here, I think. No, I'm not going to put a desk there. I'm going to add these. I don't know what this is. They're like potting your plants or something. And I'll put that over here. This freaking door is broken again. <laughs> I don't know why that keeps happening. All right, we are getting pretty close to being done with the interior. I've added a few more decorations. The only thing is this like hallway section. I don't know what to do with this. It's very empty. There's not really any space to put anything because of the doors. All right, I think that is it for the interior. This is so cute. Now the shell is on my gallery, of course, and this house is gonna be up there once I finish it. So I am going to finish the exterior and do some landscaping and I will be right back. I just did the whole outro with my mic muted, so that's fun. So I finished the landscaping. I have some items from the regular base game and I also put in some items from the debug landscaping that comes with cottage living. The debug landscaping that comes with this pack is so cute. Like, look at these flowers. I absolutely love these. This is like nothing else that we have in the game, aside from the stuff that comes with like romantic garden stuff, which I don't have, but I would love to get because the landscaping's really cute. But if you don't have that, this kind of has a similar feel to it. And then I added a bunch of these like clutter pieces that come with the debug landscaping as well. I really like these. They just add like a kind of texture to the lawn. And I fenced in this whole backyard and put a couple farming plots back here and a chicken coop. I'm not sure if this lot is big enough for you to have a cow or a llama, so that's why I went with just the chicken coop, but maybe you could find a way to fit that in here. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really like the build items in this pack, and I'm super excited to start a Let's Play using this pack. That will be my next video, so make sure you subscribe to see that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone!